Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Love Our Home Zoo. We are the animals, wildlife and nature lovers and today we will introduce you to our home zoo members. Meet our white, white tigers. tigers! White tigers! These are not a white tiger, these are a white tiger, this is a big white tiger. We also have another younger white tiger. We have a Siberian. A Siberian tiger a and the Bengal tiger. tigers. Maxwell has the baby tigers. We have a funny looking white tiger. The white tiger is a head with legs in it. So before we tell you everything we know about them, we want to share with you a very special picture that we took in December. This picture right here, this was taken in December of 2016 of us holding a tiger, a white tiger cub. It was a very special day. I think ever since that day, Maxwell's love for white tigers is not just, it has just grown. And this is the person who recommended the white tiger. The first thing I want to tell you about white tigers is that they are not albinos and they're not a separate species. They are regular Bengal tigers with a recessive gene. Mm. This gene must be received from both parents. Instead of orange, they have a white fur with black stripes, a pink nose, and blue eyes. Mm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. For a white tiger to be born, both parents must carry the unusual recessive gene. This only happens naturally in about one in every 10,000 births. That's in Very awesome. rare. So it's very rare for a white tiger in the wild. The Bengal tigers today are found in small pockets of their natural habitats in India. They are found in a variety of habitats, including tropical forests, mangroves, swamps, and most jungles that generally support dense vegetation and have a very good source of fresh water. A white tiger in the wild today is very rare. In the past 100 years, only 12 have been spotted throughout India, with the last sighting reported in 1959. They are, however, in, three, in a handful of zoos and animal sanctuaries around the world. White tigers are larger in size to the Bengal tigers, making them the second largest cat in the world, next to the Siberian tiger, which are the largest big cats. They can measure from 7 to 11 feet. They can weigh between 400 to 550 pounds and reach speeds of 60 miles per hour. Only 15 miles short of a cheetah. Wow, that's pretty fast. Like all tigers, their stripes are unique to each, like human fingerprints. These stripes help them hide in the forest and makes them the stealthiest predator. They are carnivores and hunt for deer, wild boar, cattle, and goats. The white tiger has a number of adaptations to help it to both catch and kill its prey, including being strong and powerful, incredibly fast, and having long and sharp claws and teeth. They have superior vision. Their night vision is six times better than humans. True. The white tiger is one of the most versatile and adaptable predators in the Asian jungle as they are not only incredibly quick and agile at running, but they're also very capable swimmers, allowing them to cross over rivers and wetlands. But unlike other big cats, like the jaguars, they cannot climb trees. Females give birth to up to five cubs after about three months of gestation. The cubs stay with their mother for almost two years. The white tigers are solitary and mark their territory with their scent and glowing trees. They like a lot of space. So this territory can be up to 75 square miles and they don't allow any other tigers to enter it. The white tiger is thought to have a slightly shorter life expectancy than the normal Bengal tiger. Although there is no evidence of this in the wild, studies on captive White tigers concluded that it is due to the white tiger's mutated genes and to the inbreeding that is required to continue breeding the white tigers. 
Many of the white tigers in captivity can trace their origins to a single white cub named Mohan, who was orphaned. Though most white tigers are related to one another. Because of this, the American Zoologist Association banned the breeding of white tigers in captivity, as the inbreeding results in birth mortality and deformities in more than 80% of the cases. The white tiger is a Bengal tiger, and the species as a whole is listed by the IUCN as endangered. In the early 1900s, there were about 100,000 tigers found in jungles and mangroves in Asia. But today, there are thought to be only about 4,000 tigers left in the wild. The biggest threat is loss of habitat. All conservation efforts are concentrated on saving tigers as a whole, not necessarily saving white tigers. Although the chances are low, it is possible for two Bengal tigers who carry the genes to meet and produce a white tiger in the wild. Aside from donating funds to support the efforts of conservation organizations and adopting tigers, one thing that we can all do is spread the word. So please do share this video and let's all help save these beautiful tigers. If you're interested in learning more about conservation efforts, please check out our site. The address is in the description below. We hope you enjoy learning with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can help us reach more viewers so we can spread the love and raise awareness about all the animals we share our planet with. Leave any comments below and we will see you next week with a video about... Manatees! Yes, we're going aquatic. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye, -bye.